Have you ever been so desperate for views that you'll do just about anything to get famous and go viral? New movie, we're gonna be talking to him. Katie. Funny man Al Franken will be stopping by for a visit. Katie. And Wolfgang Puck shares his recipe for apple strudel. Katie. So stay tuned because we've got all this and more coming up in the next hour. Katie. What? Oh well, never mind. What about breaking into someone's home or stealing their dog? Meet TikTok sensation prankster Mizzy who is causing chaos on the internet and he's issued an official public apology. The internet's talking about it and so are we. Like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. I really don't know where to begin with this one. Mizzy, the TikTok sensation prankster, whatever he wants to call himself, is causing a storm at the moment. He has recently been arrested over some of his activity. He's been posting the most disturbing things, videos online on TikTok prominently. Things like him going up, squaring up to girls, tapping them on the head and asking them if they want to die. There's also a really disturbing video where he breaks into someone's home, just strangers home, just walks straight in like he owns the place. What are you doing in the house? Was a dean in the house. I don't know, it was a stupid video, like I got, Peer pressure to, to say. I don't want to say it like in that way, but. Or somebody else's fault. And then not forgetting, an old woman sat in the park and he goes and steals their dog just for no reason other than getting views and getting clicks on TikTok. Now, it is worth mentioning that he is 18 years old, but I've just sat and watched his interview uh, with Pierce Morgan. People are getting hurt over something that didn't happen to them. Everyone acts like they, they have this persona, like they don't care, or uh, social media is a facade, this, that, and the other. But when me comes out and does the mad thing, everyone has something it's to say. It's not a mad thing. It's, it's just, the mad thing, it's, it's the mad a, thing. You, you, no. you, already just, you already said it was the mad thing. It's, it's a mad thing. No, it's, it's not mad, thing. it's moronic. I really struggle to watch this interview. It's, it's honestly, it's crazy watching an 18 year old act like a 12 year old. But to be fair, I think that's an injustice to 12 year olds. It was childish and not remorseful throughout the whole interview. Pierce asked about his background, his family. Uh, Mizzy admitted that he doesn't speak to his mum anymore, which shock horror, you know, so he's, he's detached from his family. Apparently uh, the rest of his family and some of his friends don't support what he does, the videos, the content that he puts out there. And it's all for clicks and likes you know he's not even making money off this most likely if you're on TikTok you know that you there's not money to be made from it it's more about the virality of it and as an 18 year old and even sat with Pierce Morgan with this interview Pierce makes is really funny at the end of the interview Pierce makes it obvious that Mizzy wasn't paid for the interview so this 18 year old kid and I'm gonna call him a kid because he's still a kid really hasn't even got the business mindset to get paid for this interview now say what you want about him he is getting talked about at the minute he's getting all this exposure surely you if someone's offering up interviews offering to interview you you're gonna ask to get paid because I'm pretty sure that Pierce Morgan would be willing to pay you for an interview rather than you going to one of his competitors and getting interviewed there and them getting the exclusive I think he achieved his goal, which was to go viral and to get the attention. So Mizzy just sits there. He laughs off a lot of the things. He doesn't take a lot of things serious. He throws the race card into the mix, which is crazy. Tell me about your life. What justifies this? What do you What's happened to life? you that makes you think you're justified in doing this? What do you mean, tell me about my life? Well, you Are said you, you said you don't know anything about your black. life. Tell me about your life. I'm get, uh, trying to get onto you because I'm black. Because I guarantee you. Because you're black. Person, yeah, I guarantee you. I don't a give a person, damn about your skin oh, color. Really. No, why would I care of what colour your skin is? Really? I just think you're an idiot. Oh, thank you. And it's crazy because even in this interview with Pierce, he brings up race, the fact that it wouldn't happen, it's only happening because he's a black guy. And it, that's just not the case, mate. It's happening because you're an idiot. Busy thinks that people are laughing with him. No, you're just an idiot. You know, people are laughing at you here. And yes, you're getting talked about at the moment. Yes, you're in the media, you're in the press, you're on YouTube. All the big American YouTubers are talking about you and everything. But that's all gonna die down. It's your 15 seconds of fame. It's all gonna die down. Is it gonna be worth it at the end when you've been doing such disgusting things like stealing a dog off an old woman and harassing people in public and actually trying to knock people over for some TikTok trend that he says that he's doing? I wasn't shocked that he pulled out the race card and him saying that he's only getting this negative backlash because he's black, which is just not true. Crazy thing is that he's only been fined 365 pounds for invading a family's house for a TikTok prank. And he even says in this apology interview 
that the UK laws are flawed and you can pretty much get away with anything. That just sums up the state that the country's in, that people like this think they're creating these pranks, they can get away with it, they can cause public chaos, public chaos, and it's perfectly fine and all they get is a little slap on the wrist. Just reading some of people's comments on the apology video. This is a funny one. Uh, someone writes, imagine he tries this in America. And that's an argument that a lot of people have made that you couldn't get away with something like this in America. Because in America, if you turn up at someone's door, if you walk trespass into their home, if you even step foot into their front yard, you, they're going to just pull out a gun straight on you and that's it, game over. There's no two ways about it and he wouldn't dare try something like that. He's not brave. A lot of the people, the victims that he's gone out for are like elderly, elderly women, you know? They're not... If you want to go for someone, go to a rugby field and tackle a load of rugby players, you know what I mean? But you're just attacking innocent young women who are just minding their own business in the park with the dog. This isn't pranking, this is harassment. He sat there rolling his eyes like it's not a big deal. He would think it's a big deal if he walked into a random house and an elderly person was there with a weak heart. He would think it's a big deal if he jumped over someone near a road and they fell into it and a car speeds around the corner. Anything can happen so quickly. There's other ways to get views without harassing the public. It has nothing to do with race. It has everything to do with his behavior. Bang on, completely agree with that. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Peace.